what does a day bring? Things to be done? Tasks to engage with? Maybe joy to anticipate? Perhaps the excitement of something new and enjoyable? Or maybe simply routine and duty? Perhaps even a sad responsibility to fulfil? To do an ending? To do the right thing? And so, to a particular grave, not here in England, but one just outside Jerusalem, not one that's a hole in the ground, but more of a hole in a rock. And it's a day for a sad duty, an ending, a final goodbye. But maybe that ending can also become a beginning. And so we're going to read about that from the Bible and John's Gospel. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one we call John, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they've put him. Now Peter and John must have been stunned by this because they get up quite quickly and they run down to the tomb. John wins, but as he gets there, he stops and peers into this uh, cave-like grave. But Peter gets there and he just seems to barge in. And what he sees is he sees the cloths that would have been there wrapped around Jesus, but they're there tidily. This is no scene of, of chaos. Everything's in their place, apart from the body. John eventually goes in and he writes of the occasion that he saw and believed. And then they went back. But Mary stays there, just stands around and she's weeping. And she looks into this cave grave and saw two angels. And she explains that the body is missing. She's wondering. They confirm that. But then there is another presence someone else around and she thinks it's the gardener and he asks her woman why, why are you crying who is it you're looking for and she replies sir if you've carried him away tell me where you have put him and I will get him Jesus said to her Mary and she turns towards him and cried out in Aramaic Rabboni which means teacher Mary had come to do her grim duty. But the day was to surprise her with delight. She came with a heavy heart. But the ending of the day was to put a skip in her step. She came to bury a body. But she saw a breakthrough from God. Jesus, her friend and teacher, crucified just days before and died, was now alive. And this was good news indeed. That day, they adorned something new, not just for her, but for all humanity. And the realisation that God's love and power is greater than death. And that the message of Easter we celebrate now is a message of love, hope and transformation. It's obvious that we have been through a difficult time. Much pain, much grief, frustration, uncertainty and fear. And yet with much gratitude to all who have helped us. And we celebrate the goodness that we've seen. And as we move out of the pandemic, may we know God's transforming power, love and peace in our lives. As we go about our daily tasks, may we know the nearness of his presence. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for your transforming power. We praise you that you are a God of resurrection. And we thank you that in Jesus you not only paid the price for our sins, but you bring us new life. For he is our risen Lord. Help us to know your risen presence with us. Help us to know 
the power of the risen Lord at work within us. Fill us afresh with his love and grant that we may live each day giving glory to you with thankful hearts serving you and making known the glory and wonder of your love. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you.